Hello and welcome to program 55 in this series of programs and tutorials that focus on TradeStation Easy Language. If you're not part of our email list, then please go to markplex.com and there you will find a lot of other free tutorials and programs and you can sign up for the email list. So program 55 is a program that looks for areas of support and resistance on a chart by analyzing historical pivots that have occurred throughout the chart. It is similar to tutorial 13 and the reason that I've created this is I was asked by a Gold Pass member how one would go about modifying tutorial 13 so that instead of drawing the lines of different thickness it would draw them in different colors. So what I've done if you are a Gold Pass member then you can go to the Q&A area and there you'll find a video that explains that and also a free copy of the new version of tutorial 13 that you can download. So let's get to program 55 and I'll explain how it works and what it does. So from the beginning of the chart this program stores every every single pivot level in a vector. It also stores the date time that the pivot level occurs and then in the data window the program creates a sub vector of the larger vector for just the pivot levels that are contained in the area that you can see and it analyzes those and sorts them by the number of times that any level has occurred at the same level. And uh, what it then does is color codes them. So the one that has occurred most frequently is one color, the next one another color, and those colors are user defined. And we'll look at the inputs in a moment. In the event that you have two lines that have occurred equally, then what the program will do is color code the one that has occurred most recently at the more significant color level. So let's have a look at the inputs. And the first one is top pivots. Now this determines how many lines you're going to draw on the visible area of your chart. This can be up to 20 and uh, got it set to 5 here. Now I mentioned that um, the program calculated the number of lines at the same level but there is a user value here which means that if that is not equal to zero then the program will consider two lines that are of a very similar level to be at the same level and that's what I've called combine val. Left strength and right strength are strengths of the pivot. In terms of colors we've got uh, 10 inputs and uh, as I mentioned the top pivots could be equal to 20 and uh, what happens is for colors effectively 11, 12, 13, etc. Then we just get a darker shade of these colors. Uh, line thickness, this determines the thickness of the lines on the chart. And update frequency, this program uses a timer to determine how often it checks to see if the screen size has changed. This is set to 5000 here, that means 5000 milliseconds or 5 seconds. I would suggest that you don't make that number too small because this program does a lot of calculating. Okay, so let's go and have a further look at the program. One of the additional differences between this and Tutorial 13 is with this we can scroll back and uh, when the program detects that the screen size has changed, it will recalculate the pivots. Now this program is drawing pivot lines forward extending them to the right and to the left. So you uh, would conceivably get some future information projected backwards uh, in this particular case. And then if we just go to arrange all, you'll see here that I've got the program applied to foreign exchange and to futures and to equity. And in this particular chart here, what I've got is program 55 and tutorial 13 the original version applied to the same chart and if you look closely you'll see in some situations we've got the program 55 line overlaid on the tutorial 13 line. So this program, program 55, is available for download and uh, I hope you will find it of use. Uh, in addition if you are a Gold Pass member then as I say you can go to the Q&A section of the Markplex Gold Pass members area and uh, you will be able to copy and paste a free version of the new version of Tutorial 13. Oh and incidentally the program 55 uh, is 
unprotected and commented. So if you're interested in any of the programming techniques such as sorting vectors and storing vectors within vectors, etc., then you also may find that of interest.